Oh, I forgot to press record. Ha ha ha. There's a whole conversation about a body being found, another letter, and um, uh, him catching a marlin compared to catching minnows, and like, he wants to find the killer. I, I, there will lead us up. I really myself for what I'm about to see. That'll just be another dead body. Get used to seeing it. Well, this is a very dangerous road. Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Yep. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. The time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it wasn't Whoa. cold last night. The usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. There's a whole car park. This is our car, isn't it? My mistake. Also, I changed clothes. I changed the clothes into the Chicago Lightning. Because I've been wa I like this suit. I like it. I think I'm going to keep it until like there's something better. So I want another... I want a hat like... I have this kind of hat, but it's it's like thicker brimmed. I, I don't know what. It, actually, I think it's the same exact. Never mind. I think it's it must be because my skull. I don't know. It feels thicker brimmed. Jesus Christ! What is that? Holy shit, dude! I'm causing like freaking something happening. Look at that! I'm causing lightning. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's an oil well. Just have to make sure, you know. Good. We're good. We just left every single one of these cars open. What is that car? What is this car? Hmm? Hmm? It is. It is the crime scene investigator. Never mind. And what's this corner? Yes, corner. Alright. I don't think we're dealing with the same killer. Especially if there's no missing ring. Oh. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Okay. No 
drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. A bottle. No good to me. Five bucks? Dude, that's not even part of the crime scene. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Hmm. Oh, something's coming up. across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. What is description? Tall, gaunt. Horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. He's a very scary, angry, angry man. Might find him. One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. <laughs> they all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. But I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. TARDIS PHONE! The Hobo Phelps King. Bed, 1247. We must go after the Hobo King. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services. 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. All right. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks, ma'am. All right. To our missing car. Well, shit, we're gonna have to take someone else. We, we need to take a black and white. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? The disfigured man was seen first. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on it. This one did. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying. Right before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others, there are more factors to consider than the messages. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? All right. Just because the disfigured man was seen. Wow. Sorry. Eating. Doesn't mean he's the killer. Thank you for going past me, Rusty. We see the rain stop. Has business to run. Change back into those white bucks. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case. Are you One of wait. The laundry labels came up. F one three six three. If you give me a minute. Go find a register and you can take a look. No, oh, it's. You 
take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? It was... It was a green dress. Mrs. T. Terrelson, 43 M. Oak Street, Westlake. Let's make sure. There's no more green silk dresses. Alright, um, so I accidentally restarted the game. <laughs> so I might as well record what I missed out last time. <laughs> you know the way, you can drive. And where exactly are we going? So yeah. I swear to God, if you got hit by a car. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type, so a particular disposition for this stuff. The Nordic types, indeed. Also, I got a chance to freaking get these things correct, because I fucked up last time. Eva. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. Those two children. Hello? Yes? Detective Spelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. No. Oh. Her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. This is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... procedure. It is procedure. And to your girl. I already know where everything is because I freaking had to restart this. Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like mommy to come home now, Daddy. This is like What's the problem, Carlson. Let him search. You got nothing to hide. Far. He's a. Sh you want to hear something funny, Carlson? Some bums think going out and visiting regulars report acts of weird and laughs at the same time. If you'd excuse me, ladies. That isn't freaking a thing. That is though. Lars was out in the rain last night. Boots. Size 8. You can see if Pinker can match the impression of the crime scene. And then this thing... So she went out without her handbag? At least she was spared that particular indignity. to be in quite a state to leave this behind. All right. Got it. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. That's nothing. I wonder why the picture was turned down. 
He looked nice. With the address. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this guy. And then that's it. Nope. Operator, give me dispatch. I'm doing exactly everything I've done last time. Putting you through now. Alright. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. Alright, here here we go. Here we go. Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks, ma'am. For the record, Mr. Phelps, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. There can't be anyone who knew her. For the record, Carol, did you kill your wife? Oh, my God. This... No. Oh, that's I a lie. I kill my wife. And fuck you for suggesting it. What? Son of a bitch. I fucked that I fucked that up too last time. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. Paid the sitter and went to bed. Why did you only report your wife? Son of this is the exact same shit I missed. Last night from the bar. That's exactly the same shit I missed. Bobby Ross's place? That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. This one. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, Son I was of angry. A bitch. She's having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. The bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Spill it, Terrelson. All right. I like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go off dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. Yeah. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrell. Same thing I fucking got last time. Same fucking thing. God damn it. To give into bribes, to give into them your entire life. Sounds like the Terrellson broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. Appreciate your time. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. All right, so I'm going to stop here because I already recorded this bit. <sighs> I lost. I don't... It's not that much footage. But basically what happened was I didn't realize I was out of space. I just noticed my uh, numbers on the top screen turn green indicating that it's not recording anymore so basically what happened I come into this guy's house I find the Appreciate boat over there I got two of the four questions wrong freaking his kids are sitting in the back room he has a freaking coat right here that's wet muddy sh uh, eight shoes freaking her wife his wife didn't take his her stuff with her blah 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 told us and we learned that the wife is a regular <laughs> regular at um some place called Baron's Bar. You know the way. We can drive. And where exactly are we going? Wait, wait, wait. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Now, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. You've got to be kidding. We're driving this? Sir. Get out of the so car, I pay the please. city all these goddamn taxes and you need to take my car? Great. How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Cole? 
You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. You can drive. We're looking for a tall, disfigured man at the camp. Could be difficult. Most bums look deformed to me. Come on, Rusty. This isn't gothic fiction. Hobos are just like you or me. They're just men who've fallen on hard times. You ain't much of a detective, Phelps, if you think a hobo's like me. Rule number one, how do I smell? Of alcohol and stale sweat. You know, I may be on to something here. Very funny, Phelps. <laughs> Disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, uh, the bum isn't here. Look, he's quiet. You should follow the only these alone. guys yeah. away. How come the cops can't ignore us the same way the government does? Calling you stupid would be an insult to stupid people. You can't do this! What did I do? Isn't that the cop who caught the guy who was pretending to be dead? Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Ooh, I wish I this could afford that. This guy's got a screw loose. Phelps, leave him be. Three kinds of people. Those who can count and those who can't. Slow down. Well, There's more to this hobo camp than I thought. I don't need this. Oh shit, there's no more to this hobo camp than I thought. Wait. It's way up, god damn it. Well, I was wrong. There's no nothing more to this hobo camp. That's too bad. I thought I found the hobo. Oh, my eyes. What's your beef with this guy, Phelps? Son of a bitch. How do I get back to my freaking thing? You can't do this. 
Shut up. Okay, then. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? RKO. Felton Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clump. This is about Teresa Geraldson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. On All right. foot, in a car, by bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Therese. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Uh, Rachel. Can I get another spoon? Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. The All likelihood right. is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Ben. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dancing. Did you get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh... USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. All Any right. idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. What? She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. Oh, shitbird. Can't let the son of a bitch get away. Two clubs down. Go, Phelps, get after it. Come on, you gotta ride. Get in and drive. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. We damn lost him. We lost him. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Damn it, get after him, Cole. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. So that's where you went. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Well, I'm sorry, but there's fences that aren't able to Come be broken. On, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. 
I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Let's end this part. All right. All right, you got it. Put your hands in the I air. enough. All right, good. Okay, Bates. You're going to answer some questions. I have a choice in this. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead, and your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd fly her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. Well, shit. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice, private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. All right. A phone booth. Perfect. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. I need right. an APB out on the yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Are there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Bodley Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks. All right. Let's drive over there. I'll drive this time because I want to drive after freaking losing my my damn freaking footage. on 7th Street. Let's hit it, Phil. The cab driver might tie this whole thing together. I hope you're right. You see our taxi anywhere? Alright. Nick, you're gonna kill us! This is 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, officer needs help. 415, Bunker Hill
This is 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, Why don't you come on out, Jimmy? I won't let them hurt you. Not my honey boy. I told you not to call me that woman. Now shut the hell up. You shut the hell up. Is that the lady of the house? It's a nice story. Two old lovebirds just moved in together. But they had a falling out and chased her across the yard with a 12 gauge. Now I'm turning her off. Get the bastard. That was the one that I could have freaking stopped, wasn't it? Johnny on the spot, okay. <sighs> I'm getting tired of these. Oh, oh, that wasn't as exciting. We survive this. It's gonna be a miracle. Oh, this might be exciting. Yay! Jesus, Phelps! Here we go. Ah, something is on me. What the hell is that? Huh. Where is this cab? Dumbass. So glad people aren't getting hurt because of me. That 
That's ironic, isn't it? Just go easy, Phelps. You're a different man in front of the captain. I might have missed out on my chance in the cab. Bitch, I might have. Son of a bitch. PD, police emergency. The coppers ain't gods, you know. Yes! Got the final car that I've been looking for. LAPD, I need to take your car. About a week ago, this guy murdered I'm sorry, sir. Police officer, I need your car. Steady, come on. Hey. Son of a bitch. I might have lost him. Well, shit, now there's nothing left to do but. Do an amazing skip Whoa on a there. fence. Most informative. Thank you. Jesus Christ. To Betsy. Damn it. Can I reset? Wait. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this like the entire case or? Shit! 